Bang. Radiant Team Bang. Fanatics, turn to Bang. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Radiant Team Bang. Fanatics, turn to Bang. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant <sighs> Team Bang. Fanatics turn to pick. Radiant Team Pick. Dang. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. The net. Flada. Enchantress. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant Team Bang. Phantom Lancer. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Fanatics, turn to bang. Hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever whatever time it is in your part of the world. Welcome to the stream, the B stream. Yes. With Gareth. Of course, We've got some lovely games coming up for you. Well, I get it's early in the morning here in Europe, but it seems that the players are in the lobby. They're ready. Ten They've seconds. gone. They've started and the draft is the, ready. The draft is underway. We're already in the second ban phase. So we're seeing some action here. And, uh, of course, on Fnatic's side, we have Tiny, Phantom Lancer picked up. On Complexity, we have Slardar and an early Enchantress grab, which, of course, the PL was a response to. We'll see how this uh, works out for him. Normally, Enchantress, she can be a, a really powerful hero to have in your team. And, of course, Complexity, they know how to make use of it as well. Ten seconds the complexity remaining. One, one of the first, yeah, maybe you could say Pioneer Five teams to bring remaining. an enchant forefront. Right. Yeah. But they are also capable of playing it as a support. That's kind of a power in this team, because Moo plays it really well, but you also have uh, Zipric, who knows how to play it. So they could play it either way. Offlane Eng can be a struggle if there's a carry Tiny or a carry Peel, whichever would be a little bit of a tough one. We'll see what they decide to do. Obviously, it's a super strong uh, roamer, but they already have starter. So Tiny first pick, you know, we've seen a lot of this. We, you were talking about it break we had so Five to put it into any role in a very diverse kind of dynamic of pick but phantom lancer is a response why, why, why is this picked up uh being picked up i believe it's just the the agi bonus you gain from the phantom pick. a lot of people are getting used to to the fact that you can actually kill a lot of enemy squishy heroes even if she does have untouchable or she could take over a pl illusion he actually brings her down quite quickly um, and Heal is also getting a lot of love because of his level 25 talent. Down the road, he becomes a mon critical strike. It's oh, yeah. basically Juggernaut's crit <laughs> on a talent. It's amazing. 30% chance to do a 2x crit. Is not, really bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I guess. Uh, that's a doppelganger. To 
Ten seconds. Corrosive haze, amplified damage, crushes, and all that yeah. as well. Is pretty nice. As well as Five Fnatic running. Remaining. They have been running PL a lot in their recent. First pick material. What I would have expected, but Abed is such a godly. Normally, normally we would see a hero like PL in the second place for sure. And we do see the Omni Knight being picked up here, so very indicative that it could be a uh, support and Tantra. Looks very hard to put that on the offlane when you have and Omni Knight. <laughs> there. So Fnatic now with Universe, you know, addition to the team, they've kind of been spreading their wings and picking some kind of more open draft, definitely with Universe Hero Pool being to them. His tiny has been spectacular, but also, you know, heroes like the Enigma have come out. Radiant very, very potent in a lot of these drafts. That, that's not a hero that I would have expected, though. It's uh, not a common one in draft. I think one of the powers that Lion actually brings is that his Hex is a little bit easier to make use of than Rasta, since Lion is faster, and it's more natural to build the, the blink early on Lion, whereas Rasta normally goes for the Agate play. Uh, and the Hex is so good against Omni Knight. Repel uh, doesn't actually remove the Hex anymore. Nothing removes the hex. hex. So that's a very big thing, especially in a time where a lot of people are buying Aeon Disc. Look at this Omni Knight. Every Omni Knight, this patch, they want to get Blink, Aeon Disc. That's the dream scenario. But if there's a Hex on the enemy team, suddenly not as strong anymore. So uh, that could be part of the reason. Also, just having more Disable when you have a PL in your team is already going to help. I really think that... I Hey, it's getting some love now, though. It's really getting some traction now. A lot of people are starting to pick it up. We had games where, um, where two teams played it. Uh, like, the um, team picked it up on two different heroes mm. in the same game. And uh, yeah, people are understanding the limits of it and the power. The good part about it, it's a natural transition for mana boots. You have mana oh, boots, yeah. disassemble that. The energy booster is already in your inventory. Then you just need to buy the Vitality Booster and, and a very a cheap recipe. recipe. <laughs> well, it's not that expensive anymore. They made it cheaper twice now, so it's honestly quite a decent upgrade. It doesn't cost that much and gives you a lot of survivability in the fight. It was pretty funny, you know, watching the patch logs as they come out. They started off as like a 1700 recipe oh, it was or 1750. So, yeah, I think even 1900. It was so expensive. It was super expensive. It's like, yeah. okay, and then Valve's like, guys, it's... it's Guys, it's like 1400 yeah. Just please buy it. Yeah, <laughs> Come please. On, someone. They just want to see it played, man. I understand them. I mean, <laughs> really so. It was not being picked up at all. And yeah, even the so Meteor Hammer is coming back as well, or coming back. It's making its entrance into the that I've seen now. Probably remaining. not going to see it here. don't see a hero that naturally would buy it in this game, but we'll see. We'll see. Then, also a good hero against the um, EO. Of course, not just for the cleave, but the fact that Diffusal, uh, Diffusal does no longer purge, so it's not as oh, natural yeah. of a counter to spend. His war cry, normally you want to purge that off. Such a strong armor buff for your entire team. But now you need to go all the way to a nullifier to get that effect. Not as natural on PL to buy. A little more of not. Yeah, it we've, takes into late. We've, we've seen a few builds on PL with like the, the Silver Edge, Nullifier, Orchid builds, but like, like saying, it's mm. much, much less game. And now come back with an undying. We saw a fair amount of this at Galaxy Battles, you know, in the finals especially. Dying, you know, we've kind of lost track of this lane dominating hero. Sure, a couple of the Russian teams still like to bring it out from time to time. But now he's coming back into the forefront with all of these, you know, skirmishes around ones, all these timing hits, and people being much better at like playing around your cooldowns. Having Tombstone just be able to like plop down next to a tower and say, cool, diving us with three people? Okay, we'll bring four down here and a tombstone as well. We'll see how you deal with that. You mentioned a very good point there, the tombstone. The thing is that the meta has really shifted towards a lot of strength heroes. Mm -hmm. And one thing about that, easier to land decay, of course. Oh, decay yeah. is more valuable since it takes away the enemy damage as well. So it's valuable for those reasons. And Undying can get close to him with his ulti, which is also big. But the biggest thing, Another. tombstone is so hard to kill when you don't have that ranged agi in your team. And looking at the team of complexity right now, the, the only one they really have is Enchantress who can bring it. Oh. It's like doubly so, especially with a Sven, right? If you pop God Strength BKB, you do not want to go and hit a Tombstone. Yeah, you don't want to stand there. That takes a long time as well. It's a lot of hits to bring it down. And Undying, if you kill him, he can drop one more Tombstone with the talents. It, it gets obnoxious. Oh, it gets obnoxious real quick. 
watching a game the other day and a team had like it may have been Galaxy Battle where there was like serpent wards and lichen wolves and yes. zombie tombstones. We played Hell, that. It in was the... you. No, it was we... you. I was yes, watching your was game. Me. I was watching your game. That... <laughs> my, uh, I told, I, I told my captain towards the end. You just <laughs> picked the most disgusting thing. We have Rasta, Undying, and Lichen. <laughs> like there's so much. There's an entire zoo on the map. How do you want to kill all this? Serpent ward trapping and zombie trapping. Oh yeah, he trapped our our undying Seconds towards the end. <laughs> oh man, that was a good moment. That was a very fun call. The broodmother getting banned out since they don't have the best heroes to deal with it. Tiny is quite good though. Um, Tiny once he has enough damage can throw one tree and it's gonna kill the entire spider arm. It's just gone. Um, but there we go, another strength hero hard counter. Fnatic kind of tailoring their lineup here to fit what Plexi are picking. Playing more reactive. After having their Tiny and Phantom Lancer as the base, they're now, with Undying and Razor, really just countering out. I feel like hero for hero, Fnatic have the edge, you know, kind of upper hand in the Five context of matchup. Well, it's 5 to 4, Durka. Uh, you're right, there was one hero missing. <laughs> How could I have missed this? Yeah. The mathematics this is the analysis has me. that you bring me in for. <laughs> But this, this fifth pick, you know, the final pick, we talk about it a lot. It has to kind of really bring this draft together. I, I struggle to see something that does that for complexity. I feel that have really leveraged themselves a great position uh, to end the draft with that razor. You know, it, it kind of leaves complexity. It's like, yeah, I, I was going to say, this is not looking so easy. Maybe a queen because Puck is banned out, that but is okay, they're going to go with Venno. That's going to help them out a little bit with the whole we need a ranged hero who can bring down the enemy. Also, they now have the wards to kind of protect them uh, when the Razor charges in. This is a very, very interesting pick, but I have not seen Venno almost played at all in this. This is definitely going out there. Changing it up. Not a popular pick. You're looking now at a single core lineup, right? Complexity have the Sven and Sven. They have, I mean, sure, Limp. If he gets off to a good start, you could look magic damage build. But once you get to the kind of you know mid to late game, it really is going to be all. Limp needs quite a good start as well because, like you said, we're not even mentioning Moo. He's great at playing Omni Knight, but it's such a hard Omni Knight game when you're going up against the Razor uh, and, of course, the Hex from flying that we mentioned earlier. So yeah, Sven has to become absolutely monstrous game, and it's not going to be so easy off lane, tiny by universe. It's definitely going to give uh, Tessie a hard time here. With the Undying, of course. Anytime you see an Undying in a team, they're looking to contest. They're looking to duel in and mess with the enemy. Like, Lexi, they definitely have some pressure on them. Late game is also not... Even though you have Sven against Peel, it's not the clearest for them that they just win, because Peel is quite strong in late game. Like <laughs> The Kenwin. Sadmins. <laughs> and then he drops the P. I guess we're paused for stream issues. Uh, so, um, basically, I, I don't know who can hear this. But for if those you're out there. <laughs> if, if, if anyone's out there, if anyone can <laughs> save us, we're trapped, we're locked in. Uh, for, for, <laughs> for people in Dota TV, we are attempting to stream out. Likely over onto Facebook. I think it's ESL Dota 2 Facebook page, but it appears we're having a few... Fortunately, nothing... In the hands of myself or Waga that we can do to control this, it sending all, uh, yeah, positive energy and thoughts over yes. to the. I'm uh, I'm tech. definitely praying for the ESL tech team. Out. The guys inside. The <laughs> well, yeah. welcome. How are you all doing? Um. So seeing now, Chantress, uh, by complexity of course, played by Z Freak, like the early. Uh, he really does play this hero quite well, and I think it was a nice bait that they had there that they could that early on into their draft, take an offlaner, and then switch it. This is a value a lot of teams use. They pick tiny or pick heroes that are very ambiguous in what they can do. Mm -hmm. They can deliver on many different positions, and then you just switch. Same with Puck. Have you thought about that? Puck can be played as a mid or offlane recently. Or a four. Or a four. <laughs> and a lot of people do this. They pick Puck early, and then the enemy don't really know is that their mid? Is that their off? What should we prepare for? And it's uh, worth a lot in a draft. Yeah, because you like drawing out counters or forced bans. Kind of these kind of uh, forcing errors from your team just through the illusion of a hero. 
you just want to secure the laning stage. The laning stage is almost more important than ever right now due to the way that the nice work. If you have a tough lane, you're not going to get anything out. Your uh, range creeps get denied. Done. Exactly. Not even the range creep anymore because they switched it over more to be on the melee as well. But 25% experience if the creeps get denied, yes. that's nothing. The enemy is getting as much experience for denying as you're getting. So, yeah, yeah. that's real tough. It's like when you watch OG play and they have Fly on a Shadow Shaman, he's just mid lane. Denying yes. creeps. Just denying creeps for the first like minute and a half. Yeah, maybe the first two ways. Puppy and, Puppy and Fly were two of the ones to do that quite early. Must have scrimmed against each other or something. Oh, yeah, I bet. Realizing, hang on a second, we can get we can get our support to level two and our mid laner to level two at the same time before theirs do. So you're telling me I can be a ranged support with tiny's damage <laughs> and the oh, nice yeah. matter a lot now? I crossed that time. Is it? Is it much different? Is Rasta seventy four? Base? It is right. Uh, he's probably that. I think he hits harder. He he hits incredibly. Uh, so this is a very deep and aggressive ward that they placed in the uh, dire jungle here. I have a nice control. Well, definitely not going to get Kyle with the rune steal. And be able to take that away. Nice time stun and uh, universe and pilot eye. They just have to watch him slither away. Of course, Jesse got the other one. So this, this deep ward watching into the dire jungle, is that for Drake to kind of that for himself to play around? So if he's taking a creep or rotating it, what? Yeah, someone? it allows him to basically make his rotations. He will see where the supports are headed as well, which is very important. Look at the lane switches here, though. Both teams are switching around, trying to get the lanes they want. Envy with the TP towards mid on the Razor. He realizes, wait, Omni is not top. I'm going mid. <laughs> Omni is like, haha, you fool. I'm going top now, and you don't have a TP anymore. And then Limp comes mid. Yeah, so this is taking a while, but like we said, getting the lane set up is extremely important. And they Abed and Ray. <laughs> Look roaming PL. Uh, Envy is running top. He, he's like, I want to lane against this Omni, but Omni has the TP ready. So once Envy gets top, they can make a TP switch with Venno and Omni Knight. So this is not that good for Envy. He might just be running all the way up here and then get again. Oh. Envy, is this going to happen to you? And then meanwhile, bottom lane, you know, we saw the creeps being dragged across the Freak Christ to get up in the face of them. But Universe here with Highlight Die, this undying oh. plus tiny lane. What what does Chessie do apart from get on his knees and just pray for them to not touch him? Uh, he's doing a good job securing the last hits he can for now, but he had to commit his stun earlier, and it's not going to get any easier here for him. And the switch did happen that we mentioned, so now we have the Omni versus PL matchup. We have the Veno against Racer. This is the way Complexity wants to lane it. They played it really smart there, running first and not TPing immediately. Envy TPing mid there, allow them to, to outplay this. But now he buys another TP and he's back to mid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these teams are really fighting for having the lane oh matchup that they want. Goodness gracious me. I mean, we've, we've seen musical lanes before, but this is getting <laughs> ridiculous now. <laughs> TPs left and right. True. Jeez. So Abed returns top. He's with DJ up against Limp. That's the laning matchup that Fnatic are most happy with there. But there is one kind of element that we've not really seen too much, right? This Enchantress from Z-Freak. Shifted from top jungle down towards the bottom half of the map. Hasn't really done anything yeah. apart from like contest a little pull across. But with bottom lane getting so aggressive like this, with Highlight Die dropping low, they've got this crush. And Kyle has trapped Highlight Die in here for long enough for Z Freak to arrive. Chessie will chase him down and undying in all sorts of trouble here. No way to escape. It will be the Enchantress to pick up that first blood. That's beautiful. They come in there. It can be deceptively difficult to bring down the undying if you don't have help. So. Very nice for him that Enchantress came in, cut off his path. He can't run straights anymore. Uh, this is what they need. They need to help out Chessy. That's honestly, we focused a little bit on Omni and Veno switching lanes. That's all mostly a distraction, I feel, <laughs> because Sven needs to have a great game. That is super important in this game. So far, Universe is basically tied with him for farm and probably going to get more farm than him due to his undying just being strong. In you, you did mention it, that Chessy was doing a great job picking up what CS he could, but being at, the, at this stage, uh, with double melee lane up against an Undying with a Tiny, pretty damn nice there for Chessy. Of course, that one little rotation from Z Freak did help out. Speaking of, the Enchantress was spotted by a Dire Observer Ward over towards these jungle camps here with a rune spot there. So Fnatic knew this Enchantress was on the way up towards top, mm -hmm. dipped back towards their tier one and play a little more defensive. At least for the meanwhile, with the Wild Wing throwing that tornado out, DJ 
I'm gonna chase it down. Bro is stun. Yeah. Make sure that nonsense stops. Away. But meanwhile, though, he wasn't protecting Abed. The stun is now wasted, and Gale is coming off cooldown. Oh. He does get the juke on the Gale. Misses, and that's not going to be a kill. Still, oh though, God. plenty of damage. Drops his shoulder, dips back in. Oh, Abed is the king of juke. He's, he's... DJ takes the bounty rune <laughs> and taunts away. Wildwing dissipates out. As the bounty rune's still up on top of this high ground here. DJ has another stun, but and bad. So quick with boots up. Way of really keeping up to her. So Omni Knight against Razor. The laning matchup the mood definitely didn't want. Not going well as expected. It's pretty much impossible, right? There's not much you can do. Once you get drained by the static link, you're just done for. And they try to run in with the DD rune towards mid, but now instead looking for Pile I Die. Oxnard and Sven here. They used to stun, but the universe comes in. Oh, nice tombstone on the high ground. Very defensive. They can't really go for undying anymore. Well, playing mind games with Highlight Eye there. Nah, he wants it. Hold that ramp. Staircase. Jesse just returns back to the lane to keep on farming. Reasonably okay there with a few little stick charges to go as well, but we were looking at this universe tiny. Now moving towards the Sol Ring. Treads the blink. He's having a dream game, and so is everyone on the side of Fnatic, actually. The Razor, in the end, did get the matchup he wanted. They're staying on that matchup that they wanted. And the same thing, top, of course. And meanwhile, as we said, bottom lane is not really a good matchup for Sven, so everything looking pretty Fnatic here. They're they're really getting what they want in the early. Definitely feels that early, like they've given these core matchups what they want. Rotation. Right. Okay, Gale, Limp, you don't expect the roaming Venomancer coming in. With a the stomp there, Z-Freak will be able to control Envy for long enough to do the damage to bring him down. But EJ's rotation does get the cross kill at the very least as Bylight die. In the Centaur, gets it with a soul rip. Chop that a lot. It's a consolation kill, but that was that was still a very successful rotation for Flexity and just what they needed as well. Meanwhile, they're doing the switch again as well. We'll see if Racer decides to keep it top now. So there's Omni top. Most likely, <laughs> he seems to just be attracted to him like a magnet. He's going top. Envy knows what he's doing. He just wants to lane against it. Where is Omni? Yep. <laughs> it's quite simple, honestly. It makes the game very easy to play when you have a hard counter to an enemy laner. You just do your job and follow him. A little unfortunate there for Fnatic that they couldn't get in behind the tower for the Omni Knight kill, but Envy. Deep in behind the tier one, they've gone for this play anyway. Arbed with the PL still ready to fight. 113's his build, so lots of right-click attack damage if he gets that Phantom Rush going. But he has the doppelganger up to the north as Envy turns now with the static link. Move, chase down, but Fnatic just so tough. playing this slow for now. Are they scared of the Sea Freak and Limp combo, the ranged heroes behind this tower? It's just very hard to chase in. The untouchable, the Gale coming in now. The heal is there if they don't get hit. All the damage? Oh. And now Limp might die as well. He's in all sorts of trouble. Envy's got the damage stolen and he'll turn it back around and double for Abed. And meanwhile, bottom as well, they're just pressuring Chessie. He's running for his life down here. Tossing so zombies. Yeah, throwing in the zombies. It's just a nightmare he for Chessie. Another. He's got another toss. Toss the... Toss oh, dying. the big zombie. Oh, yes. Get him. With the punch. Get him. Wow. Yeah, Fnatic, they really made it clutch there. That hex onto Omni Knight was just what they needed. And we had enough damage to bring him down. And Complexity were banking on getting that kill on Razor. If they got it, they could maybe have pursued for a second kill. Instead, they lost two heroes. That was real tough. Across every lane, every fight so far going the way of Fnatic. Chessie looking reasonable on the farm. You know, top of his team. Four heroes with three red markers up at the top of the board there. All Fnatic is... Already They're seeing running away with it. Already seeing a 2k plus gold lead at seven minutes is oh, very yeah. early, especially when you have a team that has Enchantress basically just running around in gank, right? And Slaughter also just running around. It's it's a, it's a very tough situation here because you're not gonna get too much if these ganks don't work. The time. I do often worry about Lion because we've seen. Plenty of times, you know, lions not get blinks oh, fast really? enough. Very fast, but then the courier is an early warning system. <laughs> They've been sent an SMS. <laughs> That's true. Very well, smart pathing. Coming. But yeah, lions, we, we see run out of time, not get enough farm, and kind of just be this walking heck. You're there in a fight, you'll try to get your spells off. In this game, it looks like DJ's aiming for this ether lens, and you know, I, I don't see lion enough. 
at all in pubs and pro games or anything like that to kind of understand item builds. Oh, wow. Only TP out. Really scared there. Really understand TP. But yes, the Etherlands on Lion, it allows him to operate from, from far, farther away, of course. The Blink Dagger is nicer to get, but it's so expensive. One big expensive item, whereas the Etherlands is a little bit easier to build due to a cheap nature of the items. You can more easily get it before you happen to die or happen to have to buy a lot of wards. Uh, so this is more affordable for DJ, and it does work super well, of course, with the having uh, having the long range for Finger of Death. So good. And uh, of course, there's also a combination. If you go for the Etherlands, having Tranquils together with it, you have a lot of mana region, a lot of HP region. You basically never have to go to base. You even have the mana drain to keep your fully. That's a nice little play mid. Take Arbet down to half HP. Then still stomp after the snare from the Dark Troll there, but not really able to too far away. He's a little bit scared about the second round here. The Full lanes keep Chessie up and running and pressure this mid tower. He's like one of those rare moments where Mu actually gets to lane against who he wants to lane against in this game. And he's taking, you know, he's making the most out of it, of course. Meanwhile, though, Envy and a smoke up here with DJ. Chessie, you're the target. Oh, look at that damage. That DJ with a finger of death and the stun at the same time. Same frame. Don't care about Chessie at all. Down immediately. Beautiful to get that big cooldown used already as well. And they're chasing for more. Don't know if they can actually reach this with Lion, though. Even the Rappel is there. A bit optimistic from DJ. But through the Earth Spike in any way. They've got Universe pushing Tier 1. Damage into this with a Catapult Wave. Again, something that we see from teams a lot now is the focus on that first Catapult Wave. You know, the first Catapult Waves, that, you know, they come in, they make rotations. The Lycan with the Helm of the Dominator becoming so popular because of, of course, that. Of course, of yeah. Course. But, you know, you look at OG and Fnatic, they see the Catapult Waves come, they TP two, three heroes in, they pressure, keep the Catapult alive, and look to play around towers. Oh, and wow. now, complexity! Seafreak walks into his own death as they try and do the reverse. They try and play against the Catapult Wave and play aggressively with the Enchantress, who can obviously steal one of the Catapults, but Fnatic, we're ready. You have to be mindful about the decay as an enchantress taking away your strength. You don't have a lot of strength to give, right? You you don't have too much of a max <laughs> HP to work with. 580 max fallen. HP before you get drained or anything. And then Lion and Tiny nuking you, you just dissipate. You're yeah, just gone. You are gone. Especially oh, with those stuff items. Hello, DJ is in there. Kyle, stand up. And with the tombstone there, it looks like it might just be his end. The zombies will stack up, chase him down. Nice repel from Mu. Buy time here from Kyle and Limp has arrived as well with a few points in the plague wards. So Fnatic unable to really secure a big kill here as the big ulti from Limp. It does come out, but there are no stuns. Nothing to cancel the TPs of Fnatic as Kyle walked back to lane to get some creeps for himself and left them all to just run away. Yeah, it's so hard to go in. Both teams are playing very tentative in these fights because they know if they go in and overcommit into a Razor, it's super hard. Likewise, if you run into a Venno, you can quickly have trouble getting out of there alive. So both teams kind of just pressuring, you know, can we go, can we not? And uh, in the end, Fnatic TP's out, loses nothing. They're going to run back down again and pressure. Tiny is now closing up on his Blink Dagger, 600 gold away. That's going to be their first big timing. And he did this with Power Treads build as well, so he's going to have plenty of DPS built. Treads, Wand, Soul Ring, Blink coming. It's all a dream here. Sure, everything is great for them, and they are getting the majority of the Diffuse Hole completed on the Phantom Lancer, so not going to be a Battle Fury build in this game, which would be probably way too greedy with a Cry Core that they're running. Just get your functional items going. You don't need to accelerate your farm. You just need the items that allow you to fight. So Chessy is clearing out Ancients, farming jungle for the past three, four minutes or so. Mask Manus is, is on its way, but this sentry ward that Fnatic placed down, Paladise scanned the high ground, came in, blocked the camp, and now they are contesting the Ancients. Not, mm. not just holding back and saying, right, we'll block I, I, them and make I'm sure... I'm dying is farming them. <laughs> He's like, these are mine. And uh, I want to give some love for DJ. He just triple stacked their own jungle as well. If you look at the lower jungle for uh, Dire, he stacked all of those at the same time. And now there's plenty of farm for Tiny to nice. go back into as well. 
who already has his uh, Shadow Blade queued up after his Blink Dagger. He knows what he wants in this game. <laughs> he knows he's going to get farmed. Yes. He knows it's gonna be it's amazing on time. The status resistance is really, really good with it. The dust? Nope. Yeah. Not work. Not for very long, at least. Playing Bounty Hunter against the Piper Day. I just had to keep tracking him every like three seconds. Like, oh, I'm going to track him again. going to track him again. Yeah. Try playing Legion Commander and dueling him. <laughs> oh no, that you, sounds cool. You have two seconds or one and a half seconds to finish the job, else no duel for you. So, uh... Complexity, Complexity trying to play the map here, it looks like. Yeah, they're trying to to get this tower down, and with the Ven Awards, they have a decent shot at doing so, even using drums as well, trying to put all the pressure they can here. But are they going to defend it? They're just getting a lot of farm on the rest of the map. Meanwhile, though, Fnatic. He is in jungle. Z Freak was forced away Kyle. from the lane, but they've got the catch here. Kyle, goodbye. He's into his own shrine. Coming to join his brother up a top lane, but Fnatic again just ready and waiting. Everywhere you look, there's Fnatic heroes just coming out of the woodwork, battling. I love the way that DJ plays his lion. He always activates his ulti as soon as possible. Does not really care if it's a support kill, if it's, you know, a big kill or not. Just get that cooldown on cooldown as soon as possible because you don't want to run away, uh, run around with such a big gun ready. You just want to use it. So uh, it's just a beautiful way that they're playing it. And now he's just going to make sure that he stacks up a little bit in jungle, picks the runes, and he's going to go for ganks with his team later. Anytime they have his ulti ready, they make use of it so quick. It's kind of interesting though, right? Where like spell cycling like that, it we may not have had a word for it until quite recently, but it's it's been around for such time, you know, mm -hmm. thinking about, you know, Shadow Shaman, Serpent Wards, and a TB Metamorphosis, right? If a team has both those, cycle through them and take towers, having a finger of death, cooldown going, just making sure you're using the resources you have without losing out on anything. And Complexity top with the resources they've got. Looking for a play here, but Fnatic, again, ready. Blink Tiny's here. There's a tanky Envy Razor with drums. Aquila up on the front lines, bringing a full Yasha to him, in fact. Uh, looking very strong. He's having a good game. Meanwhile, we see Universe and DJ smoking up. And this is one of the reasons you don't have to go for a blink there. They did get smoke break and ward spotting them. So nothing going to happen for him here today. But uh, this is one of the reasons he didn't go blink. He has a tiny. He just toss him. A bit. This larder on you. Right. The gra Holy hand grenade, Lion. Well, this is Complexity now coming on force, but the doppelganger Why? dodge gets away from the stun. Kyle still in Viz, gets the three-man crush, but Jesse, propelled up with his god strength going, has to try and turn and burn, but he's going to get ripped apart. Universe comes in and cleaves them down. Complexity lose one after the other, and Fnatic absolutely running away with this game right now. Uh, it's just really tough to watch, especially for me, but seeing seeing that Sven stun, they just needed to initiate with the slaughter. You're never going to get the peel if you don't combo it. I feel like there was a miscommunication where Kyle did not want to go, but, you know, Chessy thought that they were going. In the end, they lose three really quick. Of course, Omni and Sven, those big kills. Now having a really solid grip on this. Peel is starting to get out of hands. I mean, Sven is decent against peel, but... Once he's double your net worth, I don't care how decent your hero is at countering, he is still going to shred you. He's closing in on, on having his Manta style. He has the Yasha delivered now with the Diffusal Blade, 17 minutes in. This is a good time. Very, very fast. But, meanwhile, we have, uh, you know, Limp just building a home for himself on the bottom lane as a Venomancer. He's putting down some wards, trying to, to ignore everything else that's happening <laughs> in the world. He just wants to <laughs> sit down here and be a snake. I will make a bunker, I will live in this bunker, and I will keep pushing. Yeah, see? These little snakes, they spot out. There's an uh, unfriendly rock moving in. <laughs> nope. Tiny, get out of here. It's moving away. It's very much like Broodmother when you set up with uh, with Venno like this. You make your little home, and then you play around it, and hope that no one comes and mess with you. <laughs> the knock to all the... <laughs> yeah. Building this little ideal dream world. I'm not sure if that was... Kyle stacking, but Kyle ran away after using Corrosive Haze on a creep, and Ahmed comes and clears the stack anyway. <laughs> is like, thank you. Yeah, I he's did, like, cheers, mate. <laughs> I didn't need that farm. Once you get to this point where you can control the enemy ancients, it gives you a lot of advantage, but at least meanwhile, they're trying to do the same thing bottom with the Ven Awards, and uh, Kyle getting some nice experience for himself here, getting to level 9, um, but... Super far from Blink or anything like that. Though. Yeah, still no, 
no way near having a, an actual item. And Omni Knight still has yet to finish his first item, going for the Yule Scepter. Even when he has it, though. Well, they did catch the snake. That must have been a toss, right? Toss uh, DJ, yeah. I believe they hand grenaded him. One of the best ways to play. Absolutely. From, uh, from a distance, mid lane, there's a, there's a play in onto Jesse. Abed looks like he's running circles around these complexity boys at this point. Chasing forward, doppelganger over the trees as Chessie running out of mana, can't walk right or stun. He's spamming his treads here to, to get into oh, something, but he's run out of everything as Abed just sprints forward. He'll look for this last lance in and Jesse will take a tumble. Kyle crushes the illusions, but now he's dead as well, right? Um, he could be, he could be, he could be going for this play, Abed. Is he gonna be that ballsy? Uh, uh, he has to have some limits, but meanwhile, Envy just solo killing Moo on the top lane. Kills happening all over the place, and still it's not over. The freak being chased down oh now my. by Abed. Abed's just going in. Yeah, see, like this is the scary point of PL. Once he gets that maxed out Phantom Rush and has a Diffusal and Yasha, he hits so fast, he doesn't care if you're an Enchantress. Max level untouchable, I do not care. I just attack anyway. He's just sending these illusions in. <laughs> what are you going to do about them? Yeah. Try and deal with them, good luck. And it gets even worse. Once he hits level 20, it's going to have even longer range on the on the Phantom Rush. People go for this all the time. This talent is really amazing. Allows you to uh, even move around quicker on the map. It's obnoxious. It really is. I was... Um... You can use it to, to survive. It kind of reminds of the Quelling Blade bug that we had for a while. <laughs> the cruising PL. God, that was that was beautiful to witness. Like, oh, you can you can use your Phantom Rush to go wherever you want? Wow! <laughs> that was amazing. I, Phantom Rush is so fun against heroes like Broodmother as well. Because you just like click once on her. Yeah, or like... And just like follow around. Like, oh, you want to use your webs to hide? Not sick. Oh, God. Kyle gets one step too close. Immediately, the universe is on him. DJ is there. And we're seeing exactly why DJ does not need to have a blink or anything. That range on the hex and the stun. Uh, even if you hover over the stun range, it actually has even longer range than that as well. Because that's the range that you can click it in, and then it has extra added range outside of that. Uh, way in the 75 extra range <clears throat> or something. Uh, it's like uh, 150 maybe. It's quite a bit extra. It adds a little bit more. So he can really operate from so far away. Even go went for the Ghost Scepter now. But I don't see how he's gonna die on this lion. Moo and Chessie down bottom. Got Blink on Sven. If there, if there was an item market, if there was something in this game that could bring complexity, you know, back from the grave, as it were, it's a Blink on Sven, right? It's gonna be that item that allows him to get into battle, for sure. stick on a target and do damage. They have to... Uh, get the chain stun going, but that's a difficult and hard order because they don't have a blink on the slaughter. Kyle has to have really good positioning, and then they need to have Sven ready to blink in and combo with it. Because a single stun duration is not going to bring down the PL ever. It, even if Sven has ulti on and right clicking the PL, he's not going to kill him alone. He needs that extra. Stun. Oh no, the ulti. Now. It's gone. Envy, Envy though. Is, is not out, he is in. Uh, he, has, he has Aegis, so he just wants to force an issue here. Poor staff limp away. Envy's Aegis will finally fall. Fanatic. Ground Tombstone as they try and chase in. Chessy is repelled, looking for someone to go on. Ulti runs out now, Your though. Is Sven gone. is quite weak now. You're absolutely right. He has to stun illusions. Abed yules it up by Mu. He's trying to save the day as Limp comes in with a poison nova. Chessy war cries back in. But Abed just running around. He's got no problems with this as the Guardian Angel arrives. Buys them time, but it seems inevitable at this point that complexity are taking a fall here as Abed just chases forward. Illusions running rampant. Envy and uh, Universe, they're off, I don't know, having a they pizza party or something off to the side there. They're doing whatever they want. Yeah, they don't have the tools anymore to deal with them. When Sven doesn't have his ulti, there's simply no damage at all that PO would worry about when he has full HP. And you could argue that Envy could even have uh, waited and they could just push with the Aegis later on as well. But they know that they're so far ahead, they just want to take any engagement they can. Bait that fight, get some cooldowns going. Exactly. Well, when you're 14,000 gold ahead, you, you can be, be pretty confident about these fights. <laughs> and especially when the enemy don't have enough stuns to lock down the peel. He's even going for a Scotty next. No need for a BKB or anything like that. Stacking up the stats. 
Oh, I get caught out a little bit here. Aggressive doppelganger down to the low ground, but he's got Manta to get himself away, and Envy comes in. Chessie drained of all of his damage, and Pilot Eye will just run forward and try and get him, but Abed is the one to secure the kill. As Pilot die, Tombstone down, not connecting on anything too much, but Envy will with Mu falling. The Omni Knight. They had the Slardar trying to go behind there at the same time, but Universe ran into the Slardar and he stopped him from doing any form of wraparound on Peel. Now they're just pushing onto the high ground here. Three really farmed and really big cores. Meanwhile, Pilot Eye is there to heal up. Anyone who needs healing, he's got the urn, he's got the soul rip. This Undying is taking care of everyone. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Pilot. Uh, you can just see, though, that Limp really cannot do anything. Cannot. No, that, I was a little bit curious about the Venno pick. I didn't expect it at all, and I haven't seen it work out for other teams yet. It was a gamble, I feel. Um, Fnatic really had an edge in the draft, and this was kind of a, a try to do something. Meanwhile, the DJ ultimate going down again. This poor Slardar, he's been ulted so many times by the Lion. That's the third in this game. Pretty bad. What's, what's 2,000 net worth on a Slardar at five minutes? It's just been the way the game's gone, you know, it's not a... Well, normally normally Kyle is the position 5, right? And he is in this game as well, but it's hard to do as a Slardar. That's where their draft is a little bit unnatural. Mm. Zipfreak is a great Enchantress player, but he's also the position 4 player. So that becomes a little bit weird when you have a Slardar as well. They kind of put themselves in a, in a strange spot there. And both of them were roaming around, like I said. They're not going to get farmed by pulling or lane control. Uh, so every gank had to work, and in the end, they only have three kills. So, uh, Fnatic, they read them beautifully and dealt with it in a really good way. Now... I hadn't even noticed, but the meme is coming. While I got oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, in, uh, in two kills or so. Yeah. Or so. Or so. Just complexity, just ruin it. Just get one kill and then it... <laughs> Come on, Actually, ru Ruin the 3 2 and just get the four to just go straight to four. Yeah. That's... Downside right at the time, but they have to <laughs> sacrifice one. Kyle, go in. Dear me. Well, oh, uh, they're holding on. Chessy. I mean, is... I'm looking onto this lion though, and he's he's having almost blink dagger along with the Ethelins and Ghost. He's he's as rich as the two supports combined on Flexi right now. Really? Dancing around with the taunt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Smoke up from complexity. They can oh, find no. it's someone. It's an illusion. Silence. <laughs> For our fallen <laughs> comrades. My, oh. my Swedish brother. Not like this. It feels bad to laugh at one of those moments, but... Well... Sometimes shit just happens. That's yeah. that's an illusion bait from Envy. Like, well played Envy. I laugh, but it's a painful laugh for me it, because, you know, er everyone's been there. I what? mean, maybe with the continuation of the smoke, they find something still. Miles in He has a Shivas, though. He's so tanky. Even if they do reach him... And he's just too fast. He's gone. Oh boy. Envy has a read. He knows exactly where they're moving. He saw that ulti go down on his um, illusion on top, and he knows that. He gets himself away. A ton of illusions coming out now as well. <laughs> Gonna try and bait them again with another illusion moving up towards top, but their main strike in towards mid, it looks like. Envy cuts a wave up towards the top side. Sure, there is no further pressure into their tier two as they secure this net that closes in around complexities. All of Fnatic are just about to finish big items right now. If you look at it. there's the Scotty, it's not far away on the PL. They have uh, 2,200 gold on Lion, and the Salt Grass is just 600 gold away on Tiny. So I believe they're going to finish up the next set of items and then they're high the ground again. Just making sure to play towards your timings because otherwise. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of gold advantage, if it has yet to be put in an effective item, right? Gold mm. is only worth something when it's actually yeah. an item or a buyback, but they don't need buybacks right now, they need to complete these items. Radiant They're just waiting to finish it out. Flexi though, trying to delay it in any way they can, split pushing, but... Base. Zer Envy is patrolling the borders. Farming the creeps in the meantime. Where's oh, he, he gets to creep. Too. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. You can't leave. You can't leave a creep behind. Yeah, it, it's the efficiency, really. Oh, gonna have to keep it. Actually, uh, it's the untouchable is still very good. He has no attack That's speed on true. on Razor. 
They also pop God Strength bottom lane, unable to catch the universe who gets himself away, Blink and Shadow. Both available to him. It'd be a very good time to just go. That's at least one minute where you could just push as Fnatic. And they just finished up this uh, Scott Curse. Kyle gets spotted. Hey, he's turned, though. Playing with them a little bit. Playing that little barrier between himself, uh, between Chessie oh. and the enemies, but still Chessie found here. Forced to TP, will succeed getting back in fountain. Complexity, it's time to... You, know, you, you were talking about the bunker of the Venomancer down the bottom lane as you pressure the tier 2. It's time to create one of your entire base. <laughs> the yes. turrets everywhere. I, I'm sorry, but Venom words are not that strong of a... <laughs> They can't quite set up that parameter. I believe! Alright. He's gonna he's gonna go for another tier two. Snakes love tier two towers. Sadly he hasn't been able to take one down yet, as Envy still defending. He's just not having any of this, and he's getting very close to his level twenty-five doing this. It's kind of insane actually. We're minute twenty-nine and he's level twenty-three on a razor. Out of all heroes. He is yeah. absolutely insanely We've done a great job, middle lane. Catch onto Kyle. Oh, Who's no, this in the back? Again. Who's hexed up? I can't click them. I can't see them. Yeah. It's Moo. Dead is the Omni Knight as Complexity lose to Blue Hair. And they run into yet the another enemy. finger of death onto Kyle. Oh, uh, that's number it, four or five, really? I believe. Oh no. Yeah, DJ has his number. He knows. Targets. Bad. Racks finally fall. Heart on Racer as well. There's no way you're killing a Shiva's Heart Racer. He's just gonna stand here between, and uh, they can try. They're going on the PL maybe. Jesse repelled up with a God Strength going. Sun's out. Not man to dodge there. Abed now is being focused down, but he gets a rush away onto a Plague Ward. It looked like, and it looks like Fnatic are just fine. Turn back around, start battling through. Cooldowns are now done for Complexity. They will jump in with the last remainder of this God Strength, but down goes Chessy. One more punch of Universe will secure that kill, and Fnatic still relatively healthy here. Uh, Pilot die, so. gonna walk away as well, gonna also be fine, and now they're just gonna reset, use the, the Spirit Vessel to heal up Envy here real quick, probably. The uh, Venom runs out, he even has the heart, but look at the region now. 370. <laughs> it's so fast. I played against a... And he's full. Yeah, he, he's full HP just like that. Played against a Veno who rushed the Spirit Vessel and uh, ulted people, so he didn't really want to break the TP when they TP'd out back to base. He just wanted to make it so Fountain doesn't really matter. So he Spirit Vessels them, and the Fountain can't really heal oh them up. My God. And then they slowly die to the Venom in the base. That's not. It, it's one of my favorite items, actually. Spirit Vessel is so much... It feels really bad when you're playing like a timber or something. Oh yeah, it, it's tough. Like, oh, they have a they have the one item that counters me. Complexity trying to play around Roshan, but limp. Oh, the finger of death comes in. A bit more damage here will do the work, but switch back onto Kyle. Dead again, Slada taking it for his team. The Venomats are alive at least for now. Even when he doesn't get ulted, he still has to be the sacrifice. Uh, that's gonna be Aegis onto the peel. Oh, cheese on peel. Okay. I thought they would take the cheese on the on the racer since he has so much HP. But I guess Abed is confident enough. He's not gonna get bursted. Envy just wants to go and run into fountain now, right? That's true. Envy Envy will probably make his way towards the fountain. Prepare for the dive. Got the wrong item. Please. Definitely rapier, right? Oh yeah. Long, well, long gone are days of the Envy Rapiers all the day, but yeah. with Ember Spirits we played. Have you ever played Ember against Razor in this patch? Saddest matchup you could ever dream of. Oh, you so know why? Takes off Flame Guard. Yeah, Fl purge. Flame Guard is gone. Oh, no. every, every five seconds he has a Flame Guard Dispeller. Oh, bad. So uh, that's one of the reasons we're not seeing Ember. Someone asked me recently, like, why? <laughs> why is it? Yeah. Because Razor hard counters it. <laughs> Oh, meanwhile, Kyle gonna get chased down here. Hex is there as well. Uh, yeah, two heroes down for 40 and 50 seconds. GG gets pulled. That is one in the books for Fnatic. Absolutely right. And that that was that was dominant. That was absolutely dominant there from Fnatic. Yeah, they showed up in force uh, through draft. They just looked really solid, and you know they played the early game just the way they needed to. Complexity. They tried something. It didn't end up working in this game. 
They didn't really have stable lane supports. They were playing more towards the roaming game, but couldn't really get it down due to the many lane swaps and so on. It's hard to hard to establish ganks. And also not the easiest to 